Baila en mi ventana, es lo que eres mi amor. So hi YouTube family, today I have some exciting news, yes guys, so my husband and I are now the proud owners of this three bedroom newly built townhouse here in Belfast, UK. So we're going to go on a tour very very soon but let me just give you some few facts. So it's a three bedroom newly built townhouse in Belfast. It's actually in the heart of Belfast. It's the location that sold us the house like the location guys. This is closer to one of the most popular places here in Belfast. So we thought that mm, this is a good investment because in future we believe that the price is going to shoot like really really high. You know for security reasons I can't really mention this popular place but it's like the heart of Belfast. It's like five minutes drive to the city center. So that's what really sold us at the place yeah and it's a two-story it has three bedrooms like i said earlier and it has three bathrooms so it's actually two bathrooms like the master bedroom is unsuite and then we have um, a family bathroom then there's a guest toilet but we'll get to see all that so it's 1135 square feet so come with me let's have a tour in my new house okay guys I have a dollar for every time that my life took a sour turn I be rich and rolling baller and hollering at your girl I be making little money and spending it like I'm rich I be making bad decisions and thinking that I'm the shit If I had a dollar for every time that my life took a sour turn I be rich and rolling baller and hollering at your girl I be making little money and spending it like I'm rich I be making bad decisions and thinking that I'm the shit Uh, scratching my nutsack, dropping rap like fuck rap I stepped outside of my show and got robbed by one of them thug cats Hopped on stage and someone yelled out, use a cunt rag I'm a so um this is the second time i'm trying to film this video because there is absolutely no light whatsoever as you can see there are no bulbs we are yet to decorate the place yeah so um it might be a bit dark yeah so this is the entryway when you enter this is what you see i've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along had a million so immediately you enter, you see like the staircase leading to the first floor and the other floors. And then to your right, there is the living area. So come and look at the living area. All I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th. It's where I kissed you So this is the living area. Um, compared to where we are currently living, the apartment, um, this is quite spacious. And guys, I cannot wait to decorate this place. The interior decor gurus of my channel. Please give me tips and ideas in the comment section, okay? Uh-huh. You know this channel is not um, a home decor channel, right? This channel is more of nursing and, you know, travel or immigration content. But I wanted to document the entire process of me creating this space so i have started a new channel i have started a vlog channel where i'll be posting how i created every single space in this house and it's called manel with all the vlogs okay so if you want to see any update on the decor and everything like that please please do subscribe to that channel and hit the notification so when i drop the video you see i'll be talking about how i decorated every space in this house and how much it costs us to decorate and more about my personal life as side nesting and immigration okay so please do support me okay because this channel is not um, a home decor channel and most people that are following me on this channel are subscribed because of the immigration content and the nursing content so not everybody might like that that content so there's a whole separate channel for that okay all right so this is the living area from the living room you go straight to this mini corridor here and over here you have two doors okay so this top door leads to the guest toilets okay so this is the guest toilet it's quite small it's not really big i think the sink is quite small but i think we'll make it work it's just a guest toilet anyway so yeah it's okay finally guys I don't have to wait for my husband to finish number two before I come and do number one. Oh God, thank you. Hmm. And then this one on my right takes us to the utility room. Quite dark in here because there are no lights, there are no bulbs whatsoever. We are yet to decorate the space and I can't wait. If you want to see what I'll do to this space, please follow my vlog and channel, okay? So this is the utility room. I want us to have our 
pantry alongside our laundry here as well. So if you're feeling me, say yeah. Let me tell you, my testimony is your heritage, okay? God is going to do way more than this for you, okay? It's possible. So from the guest toilet, then we go to the so we go to the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my new house kitchen. The kitchen is the only place with the light because they use like spots light. So the kitchen is the only place with the lights and I love this kitchen. I feel like it's a bit small, but we'll manage because there's a kitchen and a dining as well. We'll manage, okay? And this is what the real estate company gave us as a gift. So this is actually the fifth time, wait, is the fifth time we've been here, right? Or is it the fourth, the fourth? Because the first time we came was the viewing at the time, this place was not done, it was still like, cement and wood and everything it was not done at all and we came for the view when we saw the location where like, we need to get this and the price was also within our budget so we decided to go for it so the first day was a view and then the second day was when we made our holding deposit and then they asked us to come and choose the towels and then the flooring so um yeah we chose all this ourselves we came here to choose they gave us a couple of options and then we chose so we chose this color of cabinet we chose the handle we chose the tiles everything was our choice so it's like it was built from the scratch with everything that we asked for yeah yeah so this is our choice and we are proud we made this choice it's very nice so it comes with a stove oven yeah and then a few cabinets and this tractor fan and then more cabinets and this is the fridge it comes with a fridge as well so there you go yeah this is the fridge and then this is the freezer obviously we will have to buy another freezer because this freezer is too small for my family especially because we do bulk cooking so yeah so this is for us let's open the gift so they gave us this mug you know and they gave us this okay and they gave us a card wishing you all the best all the very best in your new home congratulations and they gave us this gift hmm. I wanted a bottle of champagne, but anyway, so we're just gonna open this now. It says, welcome to your new home. Guys, this is the beginning of like greatness in my life. Like it's it's crazy. Um, as a young couple, we, we married less than two years ago and we have our home. It's crazy, it's amazing. Um, so this is what they gave us. This is nice. Can't wait to use it in the Christmas. Mm. It's really nice, it smells really good. Definitely going to be in the living room or our bedroom. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, so more cabinets, more shelves, blah, 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 blah. They are the same. And yeah, I think we were wondering what this space is, but I think it's just for if we want to make more cabinet or wherever, or if we want to put the freezer or a washing machine or whatever there. So we'll think about that later. This is where the boiler goes and everything else here. And this is the dining area. So the first time, we, like I said, the first time was the viewing. And then the second time was, because it's a, it's a townhouse. So it's, a, it's like a block of houses and they're all very similar. Some are bigger than others. We chose to go with a bigger size. Yes, yeah, so our house is bigger than that of our neighbors. I think our neighbors are 1,100 square feet. So ours is 1,135, so it's not really big, but it showed in the price. The price difference was like 3,000 here, yeah, but we decided to go with this because we believe that, yeah, you can still see the, like, the difference, especially when we get upstairs, you see. The second time we came to choose the towels and everything that we want, the flooring. And then the third time we just, we just wanted to pass by. And then the fourth time babe, was when they gave us the keys and then we came here. Guys, that day, eh, I was so excited. I could not film. I was just so hyper, like I just could not film. Matter of fact, three bedroom, newly built, newly built in the heart of Belfast, 
yes three bedroom newly built in the heart of Belfast yes 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 so baby so so baby so baby so baby So this is going to be our dining space. They call me sassy when I'm strolling down the street. They call me classy when I'm serving just the best. I can be deadly when I find somebody lovely. So when we got our keys when we came, my baby did all the measuring. So we measured all the spaces so that we get the right sizes of the things that we need we don't want to end up getting big furniture when we don't have that much space for it so this is my lovely kitchen guys this is my lovely kitchen okay and to my right the kitchen is our garden guys expect some hot parties soon okay some parties so this is my garden yes <laughs> this is my garden yes so we definitely need a mowing machine. We definitely need a mowing machine. I don't know. I don't know how it grew this fast, but this is our garden, okay? Let me go fast so you see how far it is. <laughs> this is our garden, yeah. And I love the space here. It's a space for like some garden chairs or whatever, you know. I'm thinking that when we have a party, this will be where the buffet table will be and then my guests will be here. Hey, hey, landlady. <laughs> so these are our bins. Um, if you know, you know. In Belfast, I think in most parts of the UK, the waste is segregated, so. There's one for general waste, there's one for plastics, there's one for food, and there's one for cardboard and boxes and glass, plastic, whatever. Yeah, something like that. So yeah. Okay. Proud homeowners! Yay! Proud home proud homeowners! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Landlord, how are you? good <laughs> so now let's head to the first floor see what we have at the first floor as well okay guys i forgot to say this place has lots of storage spaces that i love we'll see it in a minute okay so let's head over to the first floor wish i had a tail wish i had a tail so when you get on the first floor this is the london yeah and see all these doors here all these motherfucking doors all these doors here this is the first door when you land and it leads to the master right this is the master right and it leads to the master bedroom so this is our master bedroom guys it's okay the size is okay i believe yeah we're thinking of putting our wardrobe here and um, guys i'm so happy they didn't give us any wardrobe because I don't like how the UK people, they do their wardrobes, honestly. I want a custom made wardrobe and you'll see, you guys will see. Those that are on my Snapchat, you guys know how my wardrobe was five years ago when I was in Ghana. So now that we are in 2022, you guys are going to see something even nicer, okay? So um, yeah, if you want to see how I decorate all this, please follow my vlog channel, okay? And now there's all the vlogs, okay? So this is where our wardrobe is going to be, I believe. And because they have this here, we're going to put our TV here. So obviously the bed is going to face this way. So this is going to be our TV. And I'm thinking of maybe like a plant here or like um, a dresser here. I'm not really like a plant or a dresser here. I'm not really sure. So this is the master bathroom or the ensuite or whatever they call it. So again, this is another place in the house that has lights because they use sports lights. Okay. So, um, yeah. Guys, do you see what I see? I'll take you where the sun is always shining. A bite of the apple found in Eden. Oh, 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 man is never sleeping. Are you up for a oh, 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 a sweet simulation? Guess this is your station. This is this is where all the magic is gonna happen. You know, between me and my husband, mm -mm, when our days are asleep. Mm -mm. Okay, so um, <laughs> the cameraman is bored. <laughs> he doesn't like the things I'm saying in the video. Okay, so yeah, it comes with a sink, um, some wee cabinets here. 
sink we cabinet here and then so some space here for whatever maybe like a laundry basket or whatever and this is the toilet and the bath and then they have the is the heater that also says as like towel wheel yeah this is the bathroom <laughs> yes yeah the height is good enough everything is okay everything is okay yeah so this is the master bedroom bathroom or the suite for the master bedroom yeah so enough of the master bedroom now let's go to the other places in the house once again after the master bedroom you see this london space and this door is storage number one okay remember we had the utility room we can use it as a storage as well so aside that we have this storage and this storage it's not really big okay but it's a storage okay i think it's big enough i can enter here i think it's big enough yeah we can use this for something or we can use it as a um a coat hanging space or whatever so that's the first extra storage we have okay there are no lights here at the moment and then we have storage number two can you imagine number two is not as wide but i can still fit in and we can pack loads of things in here as well so i love the fact that it comes with so many storage space because guys what makes a house unkept is if things don't have their places like their, their set places and we have loads of stuff so we need a place for each thing so i'm just so happy that the storage and then come to the family bathroom okay so come in this is not a shower like the master bedroom bathroom this is a bath with a sink and some storage and yeah and again the heating system that serves as a towel rack as well so we're thinking of getting a very nice mirror here and getting that splash whatever the splash glass or whatever guys if you want to see all i'll do to this space just follow my vlogging channel that's all i can say i'm going to make this a luxurious home <laughs> okay so yeah it's a normal bath yeah who wants a bath guys where we live currently is a shower i've never had a soothing bath in a very long time i can't wait like i can't wait I can't wait and after that is rj's bedroom okay rj is my son so this is rj's bedroom um yeah it's sizable rj's bedroom this bedroom is like our current bedroom it's it's quite spacious and I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy with it i cannot wait to decorate the space guys and i'm thinking which place do you guys think I should use as my YouTube studio? Because it's three bedrooms. I can either use a living room, but my husband doesn't want my lights and everything in the living room. Or I can use Alger's room for now because for now he's still sleeping with us. Or I can use the kitchen because the view is nice. I don't know, I don't know guys. Ideas, please, ideas in the comments. Ideas in the comments, please. So from RJ's bedroom, there's another door here that's storage number three aside the utility guys so this is storage number three and i love this storage it's so deep guys like it's deep i don't know if the video will do justice to it but it's so deep we can't so we're thinking of making some shelves here so we can pack our traveling bags and stuff rj's um, big toys and stuff like so RJ's bedroom, the extra deep storage. Then there's a staircase that takes you to the last bedroom. That's the third bedroom, which is the biggest of all the bedrooms, guys. Let's have a look. I just love the light from here. I just love it. So this is storage number four. I think it's the smallest, but something can still fit in if we make shelves. So yeah, this is storage number four. To my right is the third bedroom, which is the biggest of all the bedrooms. Come have a look. This is massive. 
I honestly wish this was the master bedroom because this is massive. This is massive. Guys, look at the space. This is massive. This is massive. This is massive. I have so much plans for this bedroom because we're not always hosting guests, right? So we have to make the place functional. So we're thinking of making like a study area here where I'll be doing my editing and you know everything else. We'll have all the print our printer and everything else here. And then um, we'll have like a play area for RJ here. There'll be a TV here. So we want this to be our family room stroke RJ's play area, stroke study, stroke living area, stroke everything, stroke guest room, stroke everything. But if you are visiting me soon, this is probably going to be where you'll be sleeping. It's massive. It's huge. This brings us to the end of this house tour. Guys, it's so surreal. The feeling is really nice. And I wish this for everybody watching me with good intentions, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching and let me know your favorite parts of the house and if you have any interior decor tips please leave them in the comments below if you know where i can get good furniture good lighting whatever please put it in the comments so that you know my husband and i will have a place to start off with so this is it thank you so much for watching So I'm going to call my family and tell them that we just got the keys to our new house. Now guess what? We just bought our house! Thank you daddy! You your keys to them. Wow. So, it's not for sale, it's actually sold, okay? Alright, so this is, it's nice. Um, Thank <laughs> you.